There are all manner of people in the world that can defy the odds. If you think that superhumans are a thing of comic books, think again. I recognized a change in his smell. It's quite a musky smell. From people with mind-altering abilities to physical prowess, here are 15 rare and unique people that are one in a million. <laughs> Alien Girl Pretty much since humans could think logically, there have been bizarre reports of extraterrestrial activity, from beings to UFOs. Seriously, there is proof of such beliefs on ancient cave murals. They often depict beasts or machines coming down and gracing humans with divine new technology, construction projects, and knowledge. Sometimes even it was believed humans bred with ETs. In fact, aliens coming down and breeding with humans is one of the most depicted of all murals could there possibly be human-alien hybrids somewhere out there in the world today? The better question may be, are they superior? Do ET humans even know who they are? If this picture is to be believed and the look carved into the girl's face is accurately recorded, then they certainly have known there aren't pure human. What other being could give such a smile? If these hybrids look anything like the girl in the picture, they shouldn't be too hard to distinguish. That is, unless, of course, they can hide their hideous appearance. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> David Vedder You've heard the idiom of living in a bubble to avoid the outside air, but did you know there's a real story behind the craziness? It's true. David Vedder was born with an extremely rare genetic disorder called Severe Combined Immune Deficiency Disease. The condition is where someone's immune system fails to develop normally. Immediately at birth in a hospital in Texas, he was placed in a protective cocoon, or a bubble, and spent the remainder of his life, a mere 12 years, in the sterile plastic enclosure made to protect him against infections that an average child would have no issue dealing with. Even with the most basic of germs would have been life-threatening to him, thanks to modern science it's now known that at least nine genes are involved in this disorder. Children that suffer from the deformity have at least one defect in one of the several genes. Unfortunately, the most common treatment for this condition is a bone marrow transplant from tissue-matched donors. This usually means relatives. Scientists also have attempted gene therapy with limited success. One of the problems is that the therapy involves the use of retroviruses to insert genetic material into the bone marrow of a child. While it might show success in some cases, it's also been shown to cause leukemia in later life. <laughs> Matt Stutzman Talk about incredible, Matt Stutzman defied all expectations and became a three-time Paralympian in the field of archery. How do you become an archer with no arms, you might be wondering? Well, you do it with your feet. This guy could beat some people who use their arms. It's an impressive trait and shows that humans are truly capable of nearly magical things. He isn't the only one doing it either. He wasn't always a champion. He had to work his way up the ranks like everyone else. He ended his first day in Dubai ranked 54th, but was due to equipment failure. In his finals, he opened with a three-point lead and quickly expanded the gap between himself and his opponents. He never let up and sealed the win with a perfect 30 in the end. He was hungry for that gold and he got it. It takes years of practice and perseverance in regular archery, but to do it with your feet, even more so. You have to train yourself in a way that isn't very well understood or documented. Still, he pressed on and got the gold. <laughs> ben LeCompte The legendary Ben LeCompte has swum over a whopping 1,753 miles through the Pacific Ocean. Crazy, right? He's done so ever since he set out from the Japanese coast at Hoshi, where he cruised through the ocean with dazzling dedication. Along the way, he had encounters with all sorts of creatures, such as turtles, jellyfish, and even mako sharks. Sounds like a terrifying endeavor, but he did so with integrity and motivation. Though he didn't finish his journey as planned, what he did accomplish is still quite the feat. He was in the water for up to nine hours a day. In order to do this, he had to make sure he had enough energy. He fueled himself with an impressive 8,000 calorie diet that included loads of pasta, proteins, shakes, oatmeal, and soup, all of which were heavy on the carbs and sugars to keep that energy up. But on after a whopping 610 hours of swimming, with still 4,000 miles remaining in his goal, he called it quits. That doesn't mean it deterred him from his goal, and he plans on getting started again in the near future. 
Some people can really do amazing things when they set their minds to it. <laughs> George Coronas the Turkmenistan pit of fire, which has been burning since 1971, is not a place many scientists or explorers want to be. The dangers there are obvious. Many claim to do so would be like climbing down into the pits of hell itself. While George Coronis looked at this as a challenge and has become the first person ever to descend into its fiery depths, pretty gnarly, no? This wasn't the world-renowned explorer's first crazy stunt either. Thanks to his daring escapades, the world now has never-before-seen footage and images from the pit, and they're nothing short of stunning. His goal was to grab some dirt to be sampled for further study. The heat was so intense that he could only stay in the depths for 15 minutes at a time, and that's with the best fireproof suits out there. It just goes to show how gnarly that fire pit really is. The pit has been burning off excess gas ever since Russia tried, and failed, to start a natural gas extraction there. As typical, when Russia can't do something right, they just light the dang thing on fire and the rest of the world is left to deal with it. <laughs> Sophia, this might be the most advanced robot you'll ever see. Hanson Robotics' human-like robot, dubbed Sophia, humanizes sci-fi dreams of future AI. The unique combination of science, engineering, and human ingenuity came together to form Sophia it's simultaneously a human-made robot depicting the future of robotics and what we can expect to see as the tech continues to advance. If this is what it looks like now, just imagine what 10, 20 years down the line could look like. The character captures the imagination of people around the globe and has other robotic companies yearning to make something similar. We might have a robotic apocalypse if we aren't careful, and the crazy thing is we won't even be able to tell the humans from the robots. That's what all those sci-fi films demonstrate, is it not? The list goes on. She's considered the world's first robot citizen. That means she'll be an ambassador for the United Nations Development Project. If you're into robotics, then you know that Sophia is now a household name, with amazing displays on shows such as The Tonight Show, Good Morning Britain, and even spoke to hundreds of people around the globe. Lexi Alford there are tons of amazing people out there. While some try to do amazing things, others have it said that they want to see as much of the world as possible. Meet 23-year-old Lexi Alford, who is one of the few people in the world that can claim to have visited all the places of the planet. That takes time, money, and lots of planning to accomplish, and she did it all when she was just 23. Pretty incredible. While there are others that have done this, she's certainly the youngest. In fact, she did it all before she was 21. Even though she's been everywhere, she still says Northern California is the most diverse place she's ever been, and resides there. I guess there's no place like home, and since she was born there, it works out. When she first started seeing all the places, it wasn't her intention to see them all, and certainly not to be the youngest one. It just sort of evolved that way, the way massive businesses explode when a single idea takes the world by storm. It just goes to show, with some people, once they hook onto the thing that they love in life, it's hard to let it ever be. She started traveling because her mom owned a travel agency and that made planning much easier. Her mom is the one who inspired her to continue seeing the world and all it has to offer. <laughs> Kenichi Ito There are some strange things to come out of Japan and this guy is one of them. He's known as Tokyo's Monkey Man and as you can see from this video, he has the insane ability to run at speed while on all fours. This took years of practice and patience, much like many of the other Japanese art forms that require zen-like mind. You go try and do this outside and see how tired you get in just a matter of minutes, not to mention how bad your back, hands, and legs will feel after just a few moments of practicing. He set five different records and continues to expand them across the globe. He's certainly making headway. People from all over know the Monkey Man, and now you do too. To accomplish his goals, he spent over nine years studying monkeys and how they moved, then applied the method to human characteristics. People will do just about anything to distinguish themselves from one another, and that includes behaving like a monkey to set all sorts of records. <laughs> Dancer Rapper Dancer is known for many things, but perhaps its most eccentric trait is that he has gold chains for hair. He had them surgically implanted into a skull so that he can truly wear that bling like no one else. People are putting gems in their faces, gold in their heads. What will they think of next? One thing's for sure, it will then end up on the internet sooner or later if something unique pops up. He said he wanted to do something different, 
because everyone does and can dye their hair, he wanted to go above and beyond what was thought possible. It also adds quite a heft to his head, and doctors said he can easily get neck and back injuries much easier with the added weight. Makes sense, but it'll make his neck stronger as well, at least for a little while. Better not jump into a crowd, because like Lil Uzi who had a diamond implanted in his head, people will rip that stuff right out. There's a reason jewelry should be worn and not implanted in the body. Imagine the greedy hands ripping out your golden hair. What a bloody mess that would make. <laughs> Marilou Henner The amazing Marilou Henner has an incredible ability that can be considered a superpower. She can't forgive, even if she wanted to. Known to most as the star of popular TV series like Taxi and Evening Shade and the author of self-help books about health, diet, and lifestyle, her first claim to fame puts her in a very elite minority, and it's not because of her riches. She finds herself amongst a handful of people, confirmed by scientists, to have what's called highly superior autobiographical memory. Yeah, that's the scientific term. The ability can be described as the unique ability to recall what happened on any day of one's life at any given moment, to startling accuracy. You could ask her what she was doing at age 4 on December 31st, and she'd know. Perhaps you want her to tell you what she had for breakfast on that day, or on her first birthday. Guess what? She would know. She knows what happened on every day, week, and year of every event that occurred in her lifetime, from major news events to personal incidents. You could do just about anything with this power if you were to tell her your birthday. She could even give you the day of the week you were born on from memory. Pretty nuts, right? She says of her power, it's just something I've been able to do my whole life. It's just always been there. She first became aware of her ability at age six. It's like a DVD menu or a hard drive. Everything is there. I just have to go in and access it. Tori Kubik Whereas there are superpowers with the mind mentioned before, Tori Kubik has a superpower of the body. The professional contortionist said that they tried to do it once and they were hooked on the hobby. Now she's gone on and been in some of the world's most popular shows such as Cirque du Soleil, New York Fashion Week, and the Royal Caribbean Cruise Show. To make the skill even better, she practices on a surfboard in the ocean. This means that not only can she contort her body in crazy ways, but also has incredible agility and balance. Even when the surface beneath her hands is waving her up and down, she still pulls off stunts with grace and precision. She started with handstands to work her balance up. She fell numerous times but eventually conquered that move, so she moved on to the others. Now she can do just about anything, on hard ground or in the water. Science says that sometimes perfectly balanced people appear still from the exterior, however internally, much is circulating and working to keep the balance. A multitude of actions and reactions take place in order to find that center and achieve equilibrium. The waves amplified this training, allowing her to conquer even the most extreme instances of unbalance. Her shows will knock the world on its face now with how crazy good she is at what she does. If there was a balancing superhero in the world, it'd be her. Diana Armstrong There are all sorts of records out there that people are trying to break. Some take tens of years to accomplish. Take Diana Armstrong, who holds the record for longest fingernails in the world. I know, it seems like a crazy endeavor, yet the record stands, and she'll be known in the Book of Guinness for years to come. After all, someone trying to take her throne will have years and years ahead of them before anything gets done. She has to keep them extremely clean, and even paints them all sorts of different colors. You can imagine how difficult it would be to do, well, just about anything with such long nails. In the end, she ended up growing those nails a whopping 42 feet long. That's insane. Go outside and measure 42 feet and imagine having nails that could reach that. Nuts! She says she was unable to cut her nails after the tragic passing of her daughter, in which she found it impossible to cut. Again, the intention was not to break a record, but things just sort of evolved in that manner. The aptly named Keridan Queen has been flashing her nails for years now and has yet to cut them. If she persists at this rate, it would be a lifetime goal to break her record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joy Milne A Scottish woman has astonished doctors with her ability to detect Parkinson's disease through smell. No, she doesn't have some crazy dog genes, but instead does have some superhuman ability to smell. Makes you think twice about saying superheroes don't exist. 
Scientists from Manchester claim they've recently identified the specific molecules on the skin linked to the smell Joy can sense, but have yet to understand why she can smell them when there's such minute aromas. What kind of humans will show up in just a few years if mutants like X-Men exist right now? What other superpowers are out there that we don't have a clue exist because they've always been that way? It's hard to tell, that's for certain. She first noticed a musky smell on her husband, who was years later diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. No one believed her when she said she could smell something off about him, but scientists are rethinking their methods of testing. She was named in a paper and journals with her ability leading the way. What will she be able to help scientists with in the future? They're still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Lizard Man The Lizard Man, aka Eric Sprague, underwent crazy, extravagant work on his appearance to look like a lizard. He tattooed his entire body a scaly blue and even went as far to implant to a lizard-like bump along his eyebrows and skin. He claims that since his incredible transformation, fans have fetishized over him, especially through social media, for which he's a massive following. He also said the worst pain he went through in his body modifications was the split tongue, which left him bedridden and suffering for more than 48 hours. He just had to have that split tongue to make the appearance full. He said after the fact, it was worth the pain and time it took to heal, because people are going nuts for his appearance. Even his eyebrows, which clearly resemble a reptile, is full of detail. In addition to his body tattoos, he had Teflon subdermally grafted to his skull to create the lizard-like bumps over his eyes. Doctors split his tongue using a state-of-the-art laser, which basically can be equated to be hit in the tongue with a lightsaber. The swelling was so painful for two days after the procedure, and he was forced to drink his meals for nutrients. If your tongue is basically filling the entire void of your mouth thanks to inflammation, there wouldn't be much room to stick a noodle in, let alone something like meat. Mumtaz Begum Found in a pavilion known as the Mumtaz Mahal, or Mumtaz Palace, you can find a creature going by the name of Mumtaz Begum. Is it a person or a fox? The being, which is a fox with the head of a woman, can see the future and provide advice to those worthy, at least according to folklore. In reality, Mumtaz Begum is neither a fox nor a woman, as you might have guessed, but is actually performed by Murad Ali, a man who inherited the role from his father who had previously portrayed the supernatural attraction. Each day, Ali cakes his face with a thick layer of makeup and bright red lipstick and crawls into the box beneath Mumtaz's cage, popping his head through a hole in the top to make it look as though his head is attached to a lounging fox carcass. A shawl is placed around Ali's head to hide the connection and then the visitors begin filtering in. Ever wonder if humans can be superheroes? Well, as you can see, some people are born with crazy ability that stretches beyond comprehension. Even the smartest people in the world can't explain why some are born with their traits, and they're doing everything in their power to try and understand it. Are superhumans a part of our future? From the looks of things, it's entirely possible. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm -hmm.